dear students in this video we are trying to work with the practical of 7a so practical number 7a it consists of creating a web application to display data binding using the drop down list control so let's start working with this practical first we will check what the university expects university expects that we should have a drop down which consists of values from the table and when the user select those values when we give a click on a button the selected value must be displayed on the label so this must is a task which has been expected is quite a easier task let's start to focus on it so this was our earlier project so i'm planning to go for closing this solution and here we are creating a new project same web application provided the name to it as practical 7a further given a click on create and creating the empty project So let's add up a web form into this. Right click, add, select web form. What has been expected? To have a drop down list. So I'm just adding a drop down list over here from the standard. Name of this control is drop down list one. It is written over here, or you can see the properties, and you can see the ID as drop down list one. Further, I need to have one button and one label on which the message must be displayed. So, find the task is been completed. Selecting the button, going to the properties, displaying the text as maybe show. Now we need to add up the contains in a drop down list coding through the data source. Right? So I can choose a data source from here also. But what they are expecting in a practical 7B that we need to bind the control using the code. So, first thing I need to have a connection string in my web.config. So I go to web.config. And here I am adding a connection string. So connection strings one connection string has been added by me, which is named as C1 and the connection string. So under the server explorer, I am coming towards my data connections, adding the new connection. The server name I had mentioned as dot backslash SQL Express. Same database which we had used in last practicals. I am using the same database as BSCIT. Tested the connection. Then I am right clicking on the connection, going to its properties, and copying the connection string and pasting the connection string over here. Fine, this task has been completed. Now the next part is on a page load. The contains from this database table customer or maybe the employee must be added inside a drop down list. But it should not be done on a postback. So I just would like to avoid the postback. This I can do it by using not ease the postback. But first, I'm importing the namespaces using system.data. As well as using system.data.sql client, as well as saying using system.web.configurations. Now I'm coming to the page load. I don't want to write the code when the postback occurs. The code should not be executed when the postback occurs. So I'm writing if condition saying if not is a postback. It means in the initial request, the code will be executed. So the code is related with the database handling. So I'm writing the try catch. Try catch exception ex. The exception should be displayed on the label. So I'm using label one dot text 
equal to ex dot message if the exception occurs. Further, first I need to establish a connection. So I'm writing first I get a connection string from the web.config. So I'm writing string on str equal to web configuration manager dot connection strings in the bracket c1 dot connection string. And further I would like to go for creating the connection object by saying SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection in the bracket con str. Next is I would like to open the connection by saying con dot open. After opening the connection, I would like to go for retrieving the records from the table. And uh, for that, I am creating the SQL command object. So SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command. In the bracket, I am writing the query saying set an asterisk from the table I am taking as employee. And the connection object name con has been mentioned. So command object is created. The records must be, sorry, the records must be retrieved inside the data reader. So I'm writing SQL data reader dr equal to cmd dot execute reader. Let's read the information and pass it to dr. This data reader need to be passed as a data source towards your drop down list so i'm using drop down list one dot data source equal to dr but dr consists of all the records we would like to specify a specific field to be displayed inside the drop down list so where i'm mentioning drop down list one dot data now i need to specify data member data source has been mentioned by me now i'm specifying what your data member equal to the column name so column name first is employee ID and second is what the employee name. So data member, which member has to be mentioned by me. So let us check with the column names. So employee table is taken by me. So e name is what my column name. So I'm providing e name is what my column name. And this binding must be completed. So that's the reason I'm mentioning over here as I can write this dot data bind. That is also okay. Or you can write drop down list one dot data by. Now data member is been set. I will just check whether it works fine or not. Then we will go for checking the next step. So run the application. It will take such time. Let's see any exceptions are getting occurred or not. And you will find one drop down list is what been there as well as one label is been there. One button is been added on a page. The drop down list one must show me all the records which are present but what it shows me it shows me sql data common data control internal so it is not showing me the value it must be showing me the value so it is showing me all these values over here but i don't want to see the system dot data dot common data record internal i would like to see the actual value of the records so some few changes are required to make it. The property data member will not be used for that. We require to provide the property called as data text field. Fine. So this values are being provided. Then I give a click on run. Let's check whether the values are getting displayed or not. And in a drop down list, we may find all the values of employee names. Now, whatever the employee name which is selected by me, if I give a click on show, then that value must be displayed on a label. So let's try to focus how the things should be done. So I go to the show button and then I'm writing over here as label one dot text equal to you have selected and then drop down list one dot selected value. Uh, again run the page, please check. Now I am selecting a particular employee name and when I am giving the click on a button, the selected name is being displayed. So this has been expected in the practical number 7A. Then the next video we will try to go with the 7B. Thanks a lot.